Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here at Edition 1 in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. I am here to check out their car collections. First, they have a Porsche GT3 in an amazing gray shade. I can't take my eyes off this beauty. Then they have a Bentley GT in a blue shade. I feel if the rims were black it would suit this GT better. Then they have a Mercedes-Benz S-Class in white. It's a S500 which means it has 5.0 liter engine. And then an amazing Mercedes-Benz G63 in black. This car is so clean and the rim suits this G63. Comment down below what do you think of the rims? These G63 come with a twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 engine. Then they have Audi Q3, couple of Mercedes-Benz, E300, E200, A200, and one BMW 5 Series and 7 Series 760 Ely which is V12 engine. We have a Rolls Royce Ghost followed by two Porsche Macan, one in dark blue and another black in color. This petrol engine is available in 1984cc and 2894cc. It is available with automatic transmission and we have a BMW 7 Series 760Li, which has a V12 engine, followed by Mercedes-Benz and one more Macan. This G63s come with a twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 engine that makes 577 horsepower and 627 pounds FT of torque. A 9-speed automatic gearbox with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter sends all that power to the all-wheel drive system. At the test track, the nearly 5800 pound G63 rockets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds. Along with its extra power, the G63 has AMG specific suspension tuning. Ride comfort is vastly improved versus solder G wagons, but given this SUV's towering hide and off-road mission, you shouldn't expect much in the way of handling ability. Now let's have a look into Porsche GT3. It weights around 1435 kilograms. In the tail end of the 911 GT3, is a naturally aspirated 4.0 liter flat 6 that makes 502 horsepower. The engine is essentially identical to the one that powered the last 911 Speedster we tested, which spun to 9000 revolutions per minute and wailed hypnotically. The GT3 offers both a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic and a 6-speed manual. At the test track, the automatic managed a 2.7 second 60 mph time while the 6-speed manual test vehicle snapped off an impressive 3.3 seconds run to 60 miles per hour. The most notable performance upgrade on this latest generation of GT3 models is their control arm front suspension, which is a first for a production 911. Combine that with standard adaptive dampers and sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 or stickier Cup R tires and the coupe's chassis provides tremendous cornering grip and unfiltered feedback while the GT3's ride is undeniably firm it's never punishing, and the electrically assisted steering is so divinely communicative. We will have a look into this 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost. This beauty is priced at 1.8 million Saudi Arabian Rial. The 2021 Ghost is new from the ground up, and comes packed with fancier appointments, and more modern technology than before. Under the sedan's long hood is a 563 horsepower 6.7 liter V12, and is capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds. Like the cabin of any Rolls-Royce, the new Ghost is opulent inside, with every surface, knob, switch, and lever crafted from quality materials. Trying to stand out from competitors like the Bentley Flying Spur and the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, Rolls-Royce has pulled out all the stops. Behind the showroom, they have a huge garage. The car which caught my eye is this. Aston Martin Vantage S. It has 4.7 liter V8 engine and produces 430 horsepower, and it just looks amazing this car does at 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. Then they have a brand new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Behind we have a huge truck, Ram, then we have a Lexus LX 570S followed by Bentley Continental GT and Maybach.
Then they have a CLS 350, followed by Cadillac CT5 and a BMW 520i in a blackish gray tone. We got a Nissan Patrol Nismo here. It has 428 horsepower and produces 560 newton meter of torque. Then we got couple of Mercedes Benz, Porsche, Range Rover, etc. Now let's have a look into the Maybach. Maybach once again means luxury. Smooth, quiet, and very fast. These huge Luxus sedans seem to defy physics with their road-going capabilities. Behind the wheel or in sconced in the back, there isn't a bad seat. With a fuel consumption of 15.9 liters per 100 kilometers, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 5.4 seconds, a maximum top speed of 155 miles per hour, a curb weight of 2,735 kgs, the 57 has a turbocharged 6-liter, V12-cylinder engine manufactured by Mercedes-AMG. Power output is 450 kilowatts and torque produced is 1,000 Nm. It also rides 0.5 in, 13 mm, lower on 20-inch wheels.